Easy is as easy does. And that's the name of the game today. Don't you just love when a meal comes together so effortlessly? It's that much better to enjoy. So today, that's what we're gonna do. An easy meal all around. And as always, whether you're cooking for one person or an entire party, this meal is comfort on every level. So, let's get started. All right, first things first is we're gonna start with the base for our rice pilaf. It's gonna be super simple and super easy to do. All right, so you know how we do it. First things first is we gotta get down some onion and some garlic, all right? I kinda believe that your recipe is not gonna be good unless you start with a little bit of garlic and onion, all right? These are the bases to so many great recipes and the flavor is gonna be fantastic. Fantastic, all right? As always, I am using my favorite, all right? It's a Vidalia onion. I love it because of the sweetness that it adds to the dish as well, all right? So just a little bit of onion goes down, and I'm gonna get two garlic cloves ready to rock and roll, all right? Very simple, all right? So far, just this. Let me tell you what we're gonna do with this, all right? We're gonna take the onion and garlic. We're gonna saute it just for a little bit of color. And then we're gonna add in our basmati rice. Now I'm gonna show you how to make perfect rice. Follow my recipe and it's gonna come out perfect every time. Trust me, I know. I have plenty of mess ups with making rice. So I've kinda had a chance to perfect it, you know? No more rice in the bag, I guarantee you. Okay, so here we go. Got a pot here. I'm gonna get some oil down. A little bit of olive oil. Really good quality olive oil, and you know how we do it. All right, we're gonna use olive oil, a little butter to kind of help the situation out. So get that in. Everything is nice, and it's gonna go well. We're gonna go ahead and drop in at this point our onions and garlic right from the start. All right, you can do that. So far, so good. Right. All I'm doing is basically showing you how to get the flavor going for a delicious rice pilaf. Now, let me tell you about basmati rice. I love basmati rice. If you ever see me do a rice recipe, it's probably gonna always have basmati rice. It's the nuttiest rice they have, very typical in Indian cooking, and let me tell you, this is definitely good rice, all right? See that? Everything's just starting to turn nice and, and translucent. Of course, you know how we do it from the very beginning. A little bit of salt goes down and a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. Remember, easy, easy, easy. I'm gonna show you how to do this, all right? It's always two to one, okay? So in this part, I've got a cup measure, right? So that's one, and that's two, all right? You can use anything you want to measure. I just happen to be using uh, a half cup measure there, right? So if it's two to one, it's gonna be two parts liquid to one part rice. So I put in basically a full cup of rice. You can see what's happening is, it's kind of developing the flavors, getting nice. This is nice. the way I always make my rice, all right? So remember, really simple, two to one. So we did a full cup of rice, and I'm gonna go ahead and add in two full cups of chicken stock. Three, and then four. All right, see how that went? Very simple. Now again, I use the half cup measure. Any container, anything you want to use will definitely work. Always remember, saute first your rice with your olive oil and your butter. Then go ahead and add in the rice so it gets nice and toasty. And remember, make sure you do two part liquid to one part rice and you're going to be all good. That's it. Leave it alone, let it do its thing. Don't touch it, you're gonna be all good, all right? Now, you cannot have pecan crusted salmon, which is gonna be very delicious without pecans, all right? So, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up some pecans. All right, so we got our pecans nice and, and chopped up. So go ahead and blitz those off, all right? Now this is what we're gonna use to go ahead and crust our salmon. That's gonna be really, really good. And what's gonna happen is that pecans have this sort of natural sweetness to them. So they're gonna be really nice. Imagine that savory piece of salmon and that luscious layer of pecan that's gonna toast up in the olive oil and butter. And that's gonna be really, really fantastic. All right, speaking of salmon, let's see what we got. All right, I went to the uh, fish market earlier today and I got some wonderful salmon. Now listen, if you're not a salmon person, don't worry about it. Any sort of uh, Firm fish will work. If you like cod, cod is gonna work for you. Like halibut, that's gonna work for you. Whatever you got is gonna be wonderful, 
All right, look at this. Now, I want to just go ahead and get some flavor onto that, by the way, uh, obviously. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. You know how we do it, all right? So, a little bit of kosher salt on both sides. Make sure, make sure you do both sides. Don't you hate getting a piece of fish and only one side is seasoned? All right? Look at that. All right, now, any flavor of spices will work, but I'm gonna do what I like best. So I'm gonna throw in a little bit of granulated garlic on top of the action right there. Look at that. A little bit of oregano is gonna go in, just like that. All right, and you can already smell sort of the, the perfumey flavor this is gonna have. It's gonna be absolutely fantastic. And a little bit of dry thyme that's gonna go on, all right? And that is gonna be a great accompaniment to our rice that we've got cooking over there. All right, so I'm gonna pat everything down. You know, go ahead, you can massage your fish, get everything in, and we're gonna give it a flip and do the exact same thing, all right? Again, there we go, a little bit of kosher salt, and fresh cracked pepper. Now, I'm a fish lover, all right? I happen to absolutely love fish. I can eat fish any day for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So I love when I come up with sort of ideas to make variations to what I like to eat. In this case, my pecan crusted uh, salmon is gonna be great, but you can crust anything with anything. You can do uh, catfish with almonds. You can do you know, a little bit of cod with some macadamia nuts. I love crusting things and giving them a quick cooking, all right? So there we go, a bit of that, and a little bit of time. Because you know what they say, you always got time <laughs> for time, all right? So, check me out, I got everything seasoned, all right? I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do before we go to break. Pecans right here that we went ahead and chopped up, all right? I've got an egg here that I wanna put in a shallow plate and give it a nice beating. And then to our first plate, you guessed it, we're gonna go ahead and drop down some flour, all right? Now before I go to break, let me show you how this all comes together, all right? So I've got my fantastic pieces of fish, and remember this can be anything you got, all right? If you don't like salmon, don't do salmon. You can do tilapia, catfish, whatever you want, all right? First things first is I'm gonna go ahead and drop everything right into the flour. Look at that. I'm gonna get that nice and coated on all sides, just like that, so clean hands. We go right into our egg mixture. See that? Just like that. Okay, lock in some of that flavor that we put on. And then, we're gonna go right into our pecan. Look at that. See that? Get it nice and crusted on all sides. Remember, this can be pecans, this can be almonds, this can be macadamia nuts, this can be whatever you like. Walnuts will go great with this. Hey, whatever you got is gonna be great. All right, see how that looks? All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep dipping and keep egging and keep pecanning. And when we come back, we're gonna finish off more of this easy meal. So don't go anywhere, all right? Hey, welcome back. We're doing more of this easy, easy, easy meal. We're gonna start off with my pecan crusted salmon. It's gonna be so good, so delicious. And my Marcona almond and herb pilaf, which is great. Speaking of pilaf, check me out. My rice is here. You hear that kind of crackling sound, all right? That's exactly what you wanna hear. What that means is the liquid has cooked out of your rice. But don't be deceived. The rice is not finished, okay? If you try to eat some rice now, it's gonna be, you know, al dente. That's not what we're going for. All right, I'm gonna take a plate, put it right on top. If you have a lid, that works as well, all right, but we don't have one, so we're gonna go ahead and use a plate. Uh, meantime, let me show you what I'm doing here. I'm getting a pan nice and hot, cast iron skillet. The process for this is really something. We're gonna do a little butter, olive oil, we're gonna put our fish in, flip it over in the oven, we're all good to go. The reason I have our, our rice still working out is because what's gonna happen is the residual steam is gonna go ahead and cook the rice um, all the way through. It won't be overdone, and because we toasted it. Remember, we started off toasting our rice with a little bit of olive oil, some butter, salt and pepper, that's gonna make every grain come apart. We're gonna fluff it and it's gonna be the right way to cook your rice. Trust me, just trust me, all right? And then instead of using water, we went ahead and we used some chicken stock. Remember, it's always gonna be two to one. Two parts rice, one part chicken stock, all right? Check me out, I've got some fresh herbs here because you cannot have a pilaf, especially an herb pilaf, without fresh herbs. So, a little bit of flat leaf parsley is right here and I've got a little bit of cilantro as well. So we're gonna chop that up and let it hang out for a quick second. Now, 
I'm doing double duty, all right? Because I know I want some of this to reserve on top because I'm gonna go for some extra curb appeal and make it look nice. So I'm gonna take some over to the side. The rest is gonna be for our peel off, all right? At this point, our pan should be nice and hot, right? Should be doing what we want it to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some olive oil, really good olive oil. Give a once over, a couple tablespoons. If we did what we were supposed to do, what's gonna happen is that in a few seconds, our oil is gonna be so hot, it's gonna begin to sort of waft. And you see how that has done its thing there with that butter and that olive oil? Right, so here's our olive oil and our butter mixture. We're gonna carefully place our pecan crusted salmon right on the inside. We're not gonna crowd the pan, just like that, all right? We're gonna go ahead let it do its thing, and then we're gonna come back and flip it and go right into the oven, all right? Remember these? These are our fantastic herbs that we have, that we have our cilantro and our parsley. It's just gonna go right into our pilaf. Check out our pilaf. At this point, it's gonna be nice and fluffy and delicious. Look at that, every grain is separated. This is the way you wanna eat your rice. Now this is perfectly fine, just as it is. I mean, you can go ahead and eat that. Just like it is, all right? I'm not judging you, but I'm gonna make it a little bit better for you, all right? Handful of herbs, about a half a cup total, we're gonna go in, and you can use whatever herb you want, all right? In this case, I've got a little bit of flat leaf parsley, some cilantro, but you know, basil, tarragon, you know, fresh thyme, all works. And this is the creme de la creme of almonds. These are Marcona almonds that come from Spain. If you have a chance, use these in this pilaf, all right? A little pricey, but they're gonna be fantastic. They're gonna add a really nice crunch to our pilaf. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a stir. And what's gonna happen is the residual heat that we have, you see that, is gonna go ahead and cook down the uh, fresh herbs. It's gonna get our almonds nice and warm and we're gonna be all good. So what's gonna go here is a lid and we're gonna be all good. So our rice is doing great ricey things, right? The pilaf is doing great. Check me out here, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and flip over our second piece of fish. Flip our fish and this was super easy to do, all right? We took our wonderful pieces of salmon. All we did was season it up, a little salt, a little pepper. Um, I did my version of my herb mixture, which was nothing but some um, granulated garlic, some oregano, a little bit of thyme, and I went ahead and dipped it in flour first, dipped it in egg, after that a little bit of egg mixture so everything kind of holds together and then those wonderful chopped pecans are the last thing that I did, all right? A little bit of olive oil and a little bit of butter onto a cast iron skillet. My oven is preheated at 375 and you put the fish in, you flip it, you're all good to go. Now, you can do this. I know you can and remember, if you don't like salmon, it's okay, right? A little bit of cod, catfish, sloppy, whatever you like. You know what would even work good with this? Chicken would be great as well, all right? And play around with your nuts. Do that, all right? You can use, uh, I use Marcona almond sometimes. This time I did pecan, walnut, it all works great, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and check on our rice and when we come back, listen, we're gonna do our ricotta pea puree. Our meal is almost done. Easy, easy, easy. I told you, don't go anywhere, all right? This is Everyday Cooking. Welcome back to Easy, Easy, Easy. We're doing my version of a pecan crusted salmon that is super fantastic and super easy to do. It's in the oven right now, doing its pecan salmon -y things. We have our rice pilaf that was really simple. Remember, we start off with some flavor stuff, some garlic, some onions, some butter, some olive oil. We toast up our rice, all right? That has the herbs in it, the cilantro, and the flat leaf parsley, and the Marcona almonds, doing its almond ricey thing over there, all right? So then, here we go. We're gonna tie the whole thing together with a ricotta pea puree. This is so simple and so easy, you won't believe it, all right? In here, I've got a little bit of ricotta, all right? I'm gonna throw in a garlic clove, all right? A little bit of chunk of some Parmesan cheese, and check me out, these are actually frozen peas. All right, and I don't know where you get your peas or your ricotta from, but wherever I get mine from, trust me, they don't come seasoned, so <laughs> a little bit of salt goes in, all right? And I'm gonna throw in a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. Just like that. And listen, this is it, all right? Put the lid on here. And I'm gonna go ahead and give this a blitz. All right, so let's give this a taste and see what we got, all right? Look at the consistency there. That looks really, really good, all right? Give a little taste, see if we need more salt. Mmm, mmm, that's good. That is really good. I taste the garlic, parmesan, this is perfect, all right? Check this out, our fish should be done. Look at that, all right? This is our pecan crusted sound. I love this, look at that crunch. And do you hear that fish singing to us, all right? Now listen, when you do this, your fish has to sing to you. 
if your fish ain't singing to you, now I don't know what you did wrong, all right? Very simple to do. Check us out, look at our rice pilaf. Look at that, all right? That's been seasoned to perfection. It's nice and fluffy. Everything is, has come together. Those herbs look fantastic. So you know what time it is, right? It's time for us to put the whole thing together and eat it up. Let me show you how we do this, all right? We're gonna do a mound of this right in the middle. Look at that, boy. I wish you could smell, you can smell. Look at the almonds, how some of the almonds have gotten nice and toasty because of the heat that's there, right? All right, we're gonna grab a piece of our, our fish. Look at that. And that crust with the pecan is fantastic. It's gonna go right on the side there. And last but not least, we're gonna drop on top. Look at that. This is that ricotta pea puree with the, the garlic and the parmesan. Just a little dollop right there on top. Alright, and you know how we finish up every meal. We get a fresh cracked pepper on top, just a couple more herbs right around the plate, a little bit more curb appeal. I don't know about you, but it's time to enjoy. I'm gonna come in here and grab a little piece of the fish. Look at that, how flaky and delicious that is. Alright, I want some of the fish. I want a bite of it all. Alright, look at the heat has started to melt that puree. Get a piece of the almond. Here we go, here we go. You ready for this? Listen, this is heaven on a plate. So simple, so easy, all right? I did my salmon, toasted it with the pecans. I have the basmati rice with the marcona almonds and the herbs. How we do this, I know you can, all right? The full recipe is available at the website, www.everydaycooking.com. There's two things. Food is my life, life is my food. I'm getting ready to eat, so I'll see you next time, all right? Because this is Everyday Cooking.